Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make a very interesting recipe that I was inspired over this apricot jam. I'm taking the recipe from the back of this can. They call it the apricot chicken curry, which is more like the Cape Malay curry. We are going to make it, but we are going to change it a little bit to suit our cooking method. For the curry, here's the ingredients. I have 800 gram of chicken that are washed out and marinated. And it has been marinating for two hours. So in my marinade, I have chicken spice, a teaspoon of lemon juice, and a teaspoon of oil. I'm also going to braise with half a cup of oil, one onion sliced, a tablespoon of ginger garlic, two cinnamon stick. And then for my masalas, I have a tablespoon of mixed masala. As you can see, they're all heaped up. A teaspoon of pure chili powder, a teaspoon of jeera powder, a teaspoon of dhania powder, a teaspoon of garam masala, a teaspoon of hardi, and for taste, I'm using a teaspoon of salt, but we will taste as we're cooking. Then for the braise, I've got curry leaf and some lovely fresh thyme. For my apricot jam, I'm going to use a quarter cup. Thereafter, I have a can tomatoes, which I'm going to use half of this 400 gram tomato. I also caught coconut cream, of which I'm going to use half, which is another 200 gram. And thereafter, I am going to use apricot halves, which is in syrup. I'm going to drain the syrup out and I will place the apricot into the curry near the end. For my garnish, I've got some lovely fresh dania. Now we are ready to attempt this recipe. I've got my stove on medium heat. I'm going to add in my half a cup of oil to the pan. To my oil, I'm going to add in my onions. Allow this onions to get soft. My onions has gone soft, so I'm going to add in my cinnamon stick to the oil. Thereafter, to my onions, I'm adding in my tablespoon of ginger garlic. To my oil, I'm also going to add in my curry leaf and my thyme. Give it a good mix. To my oil, I'm going to add in my chicken and I'll add this to fry for about 10 minutes till it brown lightly. Fifteen minutes has passed, and in the fifteen minutes we continued turning our chicken. Now it's lightly fried out. So to this chicken, I'm gonna add in all my masalas. And I'm also going to add in my salt. 
I'll allow this masala to fry out slightly. It has been two minutes and my chicken is coated well with the masala. So I'm going to add in half of my canned tomato, which is 200 grams. I'll give this a nice mix and allow it to cook for another five minutes. Ten minutes has passed and the tomatoes has cooked. So to this, I'm going to add in half of this coconut cream. And I'll also let this to simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. 10 minutes has passed. To this curry, I'm gonna add in my quarter cup of jam. Give it a good mix. And then on a very low heat, I'm gonna allow this to cook for another 10 minutes. Another eight minutes has passed. And now I'm ready to add in my apricot halves. This is also half a can, which is 10 pieces. I'll allow this to simmer for five minutes. As you can see, the curry is looking a little oily. It's because of the coconut cream. Five minutes has passed. I am going to garnish and then switch my stove off and then I'm ready to serve. This curry will feed four to five people and you can see how beautifully it's done on our first attempt. There you go, your apricot chicken curry, your recipe that was taken from the back of an apricot jam can, but we adapted the cooking to our liking. Now I'm going to get the taste taster to taste our new tasting curry and give us his thoughts on how it tastes. Hello guys, it's been a while since I've been taste testing, but I think it's because my mom uh, hasn't tried any new recipes recently. So we're gonna give this new apricot uh, chicken curry a taste. We're not uh, used to eating um, fruits in the curry. So let's taste the apricot first. Mm, that's not actually too bad, hey? Um, there is some sweetness to the apricot, but I think the curry flavor comes through and it's almost like, um, and it's almost like Mrs. Ball's chutney. Uh, we're just going to taste some chicken now. See how that tastes. Yeah, that's a really good um, curry. A new flavor profile, new taste. You get the undertone of the sweetness of the jam and the apricots, but it's still your uh, curry flavor that's in it. So yeah, that I think this is a, a hit. This is a new recipe to add to my mom's uh, repertoire. Um, so hopefully she's going to make it in the future uh, sometime again. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next recipe.